temptation to make wholesale changes and give everybody a run? Obviously, you know, um, it's always great to uh, get new guys involved and, uh, you know, it's a proud moment for them and their families when they're going to get announced to be more players. But uh, I said from the start, I don't want to make it uh, cheap. It's a very, very big honor to play for your country and I wanted some sort of continuity going forward because it's only just the, the first few steps in a long journey and uh, we use every single opportunity to make us a better team. So I'm very happy with the continuity of, unfortunately, there's been a few injuries, but I'm very happy for the guys that come in. Uh, a lot of experience coming in as well, and uh, one or two new caps. So I think we're still far from where we want to be, but uh, you know, at least there's some continuity going forward. Well, Rogan, for Willem, um, does that mean you're quite concerned about uh, Willem's injury, or are you, are you happy and just want to give Jacques a go? No, you know, Willem is uh, not available. I thought he's been awesome in the first two test matches, and that's why he came off the injury as well. So uh, I always opt for a big ball carrying a blind side boost for it. And that's why I brought John uh, job into the frame right from the start. And unfortunately, Willem is injured, but uh, Job will be a great replacement. And that's why also Ryan Kankowski is on the bench, because he can fulfill that role as well coming off the bench. And you're thinking behind having Alton, is it just to have an extra kicker on the bench? Yes, you know, you always have a, you always have a, a, a experienced team uh, in the 22. And, um, you know, Patrick has been brilliant in that role, but he's not available. So uh, we don't want to take chance in this match, frankly. And, you know, Alton is still a lot of time, so I'm very happy for him and his family to get a chance. He's been playing well, he's been kicking awesome. So uh, they uh, need uh, an experienced team on the bench, and uh, he's getting some chance to come. Okay, in the beginning, um, you were going in with, with very little preparation, and, and people didn't know, really know what to expect, but I just was hoping that you would get a win. Now that there's been two wins and you've sort of gradually started to improve, so the expectations get, get, get raised. So is it possible that you're sort of actually starting to feel more pressure now than you did right in the beginning? Yeah, well, I think uh, you're always under pressure. And as a coach, I'm very emotional. And I really, it's not just saying it in the PR exercise. I really want our country to do well. You know, it's driving in the bus. And, and I always knew the people who are so passionate about the box. But, you know, driving in the bus and seeing the, the, the awesome, awesome support from the people, it's just put more pressure on me because I really want to make them proud. And I know South Africa needs a spin team that does well. So the pressure is more the pressure you put on yourself. And I think the pressure is more pressure of, uh, of excellence and of high standards. So I don't even look at the score. For me, it's to play perfect rugby for 80 minutes. And that's, you know, it's tough to get there. And it's going to take time with this team. But uh, there's always pressure. Like I said, pressure is more the pressure we put on ourselves. And, uh, you know, what, what I've said, what I'm very happy with, with John is that the culture we set in is a, is a culture of excellence. And I also want a culture of humbleness. We, uh, we're out there for the people. And the players have been awesome this week, you know, standing there for an hour and giving out um, signatures and really getting involved with the crowd. So that definitely adds pressure, but it's, that's more the pressure we put on ourselves. And, uh, you know, England, I think sometimes people don't realize they're also a quality side. And, you know, they, they're not a side going to lie down. So we know it's going to be political this weekend as well. But I'm very happy with, you know, the huge strides the team has made in some certain ways we play. I think there's a lot of people that's um, surprised with the way we play. Um, but there's, I mean, this is not even 10% where we need to be. In. It's, it's going to be a long journey, but I'm very proud of the team. And uh, yes, you're right, there is pressure. But it will always be pressure. It doesn't matter, you know, how well we play. It's always pressure between the national coach. Even I think it's a bit of a problem with Disney Crow, but they can all do this, but they can all do this. It's a bit of a deal with the old people. Yes, I think they have a strong project, they have a good job, but they have a lot of players in the world, they have a lot of players in the world, they have a lot of players in the world, and they have a lot of players in the world. And as people look at the players who have been in the world, they have a lot of players who have been in the world, and they have a lot of players who have been in the world. Uh, ek is erg net blij vir die afgoedkutte wat die voor sy thuiskare kan goeds begin. En dan Jantjies het ook, um, hy is al tot toe drie toere saams eerst gedaan op die bank, so ek is baie blij vir ons en familie ook. So, uh, dit is twee nieuwe spelers, maar uh, beide van hulle was al betrokken by, by groepe gewees, en soos gesê, die spelers het inkom as ervare spelers. Nou, kan jy nie gesê, die spelers het inkom as ervare spelers? Thank 
Tijd was een beetje min, ja, als die ook aan te stellen was. Uh, maar ik denk die, die hoop dat ik het gekruid van die, van die bestuur, die afdekking van een OBC en een spurt, en ik voel het ook waar, maar goed, dat kan het maar. Ik spreek dit dus steeds over die inhaal uit de wedstrijd in Engeland. En ik wil graag die, die, uh, die reeks komen achter de win. Uh, en ik vind het ook een goede reeks voor die, voor die mensen van het OBC. Ja, wat ik geweest, mensen, is uh, passief in ieder land, maar hier was ongelooflijk geweest. Um, alles die lichaam wat geland het, was al met duizenden mensen geweest en uh, ons oefen veel te gerei het, dus uh, ek kan haar echt die geest van opwinding voel en die mensen staan baie staan achter die span en ek, Waar ik mijn speurs heb gevoeld is een wedstrijd voor ons oefening op maandag gehad. We brengen 5, 6, 7 speurs om die veld af te scouwers en kindertjes met ballen en ouders. En uh, dat is ongelooflijk om die ondersteuning en dit is meer druk op uit. Want het is een aardige land trots maak. Maar uh, ik heb lang veel zoveel geest ervaren in het dorp en uh, op een stad. En ons wil graag die mensen op de voet te brengen in die nieuwe speel zaterdag en de waaie trots maak. Maar het is een groot voorrecht om hier te spelen. En ons moet die mensen bedanken voor ons geluk te verwelkomen. Het is iets wat altijd zal bijblijven, maar het is al goed op iets uit.